What's going on everyone? This is Dustin with another episode of Journey to Master and today I wanted to talk about side work. So I've had some people ask me recently like, is it okay to do side work? And it's kind of a double-edged question. So I don't know about all states. Some states it may be cool to do side work. Here in Texas, in Austin at least, um, well no, all of Texas really, uh, it's not okay to do side work. So you're supposed to do work under a master electrician only. If you're an apprentice, if you're a residential wireman, if you're a journeyman, uh, the only way that you're supposed to be doing work is under a licensed and insured master electrician under his direct supervision or her direct supervision. Um, that being said, everybody does side work. It's just one of those kind of hush hush things, you know, like once your family finds out that you're an electrician, they're like, oh man, will you come over to my house and, and come and work on my well, light that's not working? Well, sure, yeah, and then they flip you a couple bucks. And then, you know, you might have a journeyman that you work with that's gotten a bunch of people that know him that he doesn't have time to do work, but he knows that you know well enough how to do some recess can, so he gives you a job, and then you got one person that knows that you know how to do recess cans, and so that person at some point gives your fucking name out to somebody else, and so, like, side work just kind of naturally happens, but it is not legal, in Texas at least, to do unlicensed uninsured work. So the reasons behind that is liability sake. There's a lot of, here in Texas at least, there's a lot of illegal workers that are doing work that are uh, not licensed. And there's been some huge deaths, some huge uh, like housing houses that have burned down, people have gotten shot, killed. Things have happened because people have not known what they're doing. They're just flying by night, coming through, doing whatever work they can, and they don't really have the theory and the knowledge and the understanding of somebody that's been, you know, a decade or two into this trade that really knows what they're doing that is running a company training people properly. So that's really the big push for it. Um, if you don't have insurance and something happens, you burn down a house, you don't have the money to pay for them to have a new house, you know. Uh, so their insurance company, their homeowner's insurance, assuming they have homeowner's insurance, is going to have to pay that, but they're going to sue your ass big time, and you're probably going to do some jail time. Um, so there's a lot of, like I said, it's a double-edged sword, you know. I'm not condoning or telling everyone to go out and do side work. What I am telling you is that everyone does side work. So uh, you're gonna find that out asking you know, people that you work around do you, that you know do side work. It just it's something that people do. But I caution you before you go starting to get side jobs and going out there and doing that, just fucking be careful, man. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, you could really fuck something up. You could really, like, you could destroy somebody's lifelong investment. You could hurt somebody, kill them. You could hurt yourself, kill yourself. Uh, it's just a dangerous game to play. Now that being said, I've done side work for fucking 10 years. I started doing side work when I was probably in my second year of my apprenticeship. Um, but where I worked, it wasn't a big corporate place. You know, they didn't really have a lot of like laws and employee handbooks, and, you know, like, it was just some good old boys, some country boys that, that were doing this because they'd done it for decades and they were trained by guys that had done it for decades. And um, so some of them had work and they just didn't want to do it. And they're like, hey man, you're far enough along. You understand how to do this shit. You want to do this? Make a couple bucks this weekend? Fuck yeah. So that's how I got into doing side work. Then once I started realizing how much money I could add, you know, like tripling and quadrupling my paycheck every week, I started doing a lot of it. And I actually got in trouble. I got my license, uh, well, I didn't get my license taken away. I got threatened to take my license away by the state. So at some point, being a fucking idiot, I started going on Craigslist 
and I started taking pictures of all the jobs that I was doing and I had some clean shit man you know for an apprentice that didn't have a company I just had a camera I was taking pictures of all the cans that I was doing and all these like custom niche lights and and under cabinet lights and I had really cool pictures and I was putting them up on Craigslist and I would say I'm a residential wireman uh, or I'd say I'm an apprentice electrician and I'll give you a good price just call me and <laughs> dude I got so much work from Craigslist um, for a long time for many years I was doing this and uh, eventually <clears throat> I got a letter in the mail right as I was about to get my journeyman license at the same time I was about to buy a house I was closing on a house my first ever house um, I got a letter saying that I need to cease all work. They actually took a picture of my Craigslist page with all my pictures, my descriptions, everything. They folded that shit up, put it in an envelope, and sent it to me. And they said, stop this shit right now. We're investigating you, and you could possibly get your license taken away. If you're caught doing any of this work again that's not insured or under direct supervision of a master electrician, uh, you will get your license taken away. So I freaked the fuck out because I was, I don't know, like four or five years into doing this and this was my livelihood. This is was what I want to do the rest of my life. Like I didn't want to get my license taken away, especially when I'm trying to buy a fucking house and like, what am I going to do, you know? Uh, so I immediately called them. There was a lawyer's name on there and like some investigator from the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation and I called him and talked to him and I'm like look I'm actually an electrician I'm not some fucking like handyman that's calling himself an electrician and burning houses down I do this all day every day I have licenses um, I have a residential wireman's license you know like I know what I'm doing and I promise you I am stopping doing everything and I will never do another side job the rest of my life if you don't take my fucking license away from me and they're like, well, you know, we're going to investigate it and there's really nothing. You just got to keep checking back in with us. And I'm like, how long are you going to investigate? I need to know, like, my life is on the fucking line here and I need to know what's going on. And they just wouldn't give me any answers. And so, like, week after week after week, I was just biting my fucking fingernails, like, trying to figure out what I was going to do. And, uh... After like six months, nothing was happening. And I kept calling these people back and they're like, oh, we're still looking into it. We're still, you know, I think they were just watching to see if I was doing anything else, if I was going to start doing it again, or if they scared me enough. And, uh, they did, they scared the shit out of me. And after about a year, I finally got a letter from those same people saying, there's not going to be any punishment. We realize you've stopped doing all the work. Um, they approved me getting my journeyman's license in the meantime, so now I was a journeyman. Um, so they just, they didn't punish me at all. They didn't give me a fine, they didn't give me anything. But, had that person had a really shitty day, they could have just been like, fuck this dude. Let's give him a $5,000 fine and give his boss a $5,000 fine, or you know, what, I don't know what they, what the jurisdiction is, what they can do. Um, but so that is my experience with doing side work. So I literally, from the time I was a residential wireman, before I got my journeyman's license, from that point until I got my master, for years I did no side work. I'd help grandma out if grandma had something, but I never took any money for any of that. Um, but I didn't do anything paid. I didn't advertise my services, because that's the other part of it. You can't advertise services if you don't own an electrical contracting company. So I was just all across the board fucking up. Um, so anyways, that's my experience with it. If you guys are going to do side work, check your, stu your, your, your state and local jurisdictions, check your laws and regulations, and uh, don't do anything legal. Um, but, you know, just fucking be careful. Know the risks, know the laws, know what you're getting yourself into, and know your level of expertise and know, you know whether or not you can do something because if you half-ass something or try to hack something together because you need $100 to go to the lake this weekend, man, fuck, you could never get to go to the lake again because you're behind bars. Or you gotta have the conscious of you fucking killing somebody on your, you know, your conscious for the rest of your life. So that's my two cents. Side work, side work, side work. Don't do side work. Uh, love you guys. Be safe, and I'll see you in the next episode.